guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to basically what is my Fabletics hits and misses for the month of April. Woo! It's April. I'm so excited because March? Yeah, it was March. March was... <laughs> <laughs> it's just so rough in this house and April has already been like such a breath of fresh air it was just it's amazing oh speaking of we went on vacation sort of is a road trip a road trip doesn't feel like vacation to me it feels like I don't know but it was actually more laid back than a lot of vacations that we've taken but anyway I vlogged the whole thing and I'm editing but I'm like on the fence about whether I should post it on this channel or on the vlog channel um obviously it's a vlog it should go on a vlog channel but the comments are still disabled on my channel so I don't know if you guys are really just interested in seeing it or if you want to see it and talk about it with other people because I kind of feel like that's half the fun of a video. So if you think I should post it here so that comments can get, you know, posted, let me know. But if you think it's just better on the vlog channel, I'll stick it on the vlog channel and it may or may not have comments on it. I don't know, YouTube does whatever YouTube wants to do. But anyway, I'm here with uh, my picks, basically some of the stuff that I got. I'm actually going to get some other stuff this month. They had some really cute, um, like, sweaters and tops and stuff, like, just different stuff that's really good for like the transition between you know kind of what's left of winter and going into spring um, and I feel like some of these outfits I would like them even more if I had like another like a third piece for them so um, I have obviously partnered with Fabletics on this video <laughs> um, I think that in the last video I answered quite a few questions but just to do a super quick recap but if you're not familiar uh, Fabletics is an activewear company and um, when you sign up I have a deal down below where you can uh, sign up to become a VIP and with the VIP membership you get uh, when you first sign up, you get the two leggings for $24, which is great. Some of you are like, oh, but they don't have my size, da da da, da. You just got to kind of check, and especially here at the very beginning of the month, this is the best time to get pretty much anything because stuff does sell out. The sizes do run out. Um, sometimes they bring stuff back, but every single month they have brand new things. So that's why I'm trying to get these videos up as soon as I can so that you can get a feel for like the sizing and everything at the beginning of the month, which is really like the optimal time to pick out your outfits and stuff like that. So um, yeah, VIP doesn't mean that you have to pay anything every single month. It doesn't mean that you have to spend a certain amount or anything like that. Um, it is explained really well on the website, but basically between the first and the fifth of the month, if you don't wanna buy like a credit for that month, um, when you sign up for your two for $24 leggings, they are just $24. But then after that, every month between the first and the fifth, so long as you're still a VIP member, you have to go online and skip the month if you don't want to get charged for it. If you do, you get a credit, you use that credit to buy stuff on the um, website whenever you want, credit never expires. Um, <clears throat> unlike the credits on Audible, which do expire, and that really, really takes me off. Why is my credit for your downloadable book that you only had to pay one time? You know what I mean? You only had to pay for that book one time. We all pay for it every single time we download the same file. And you let my credits expire? How dare you? Speaking of Audible though, I almost didn't film this video today because I'm listening to Crazy Rich Asians because I just love the movie. <laughs> I love the movie so much, right? And I was like, I gotta read the book. But then I was like, no Sarah, you have work to do. You can't sit down and read for 20 hours, right? So I'm listening to it and still working. And I just, I love it so much and I wanna turn it off today. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 girl, get to work, get to work. Okay, so these, um, I just ripped the tag off. It's the Solar Statement Power Light 2.078s. Um, these are, like, most of them are, like, chafe resistant, and they always have, like, little hidden pockets. So this one has a hidden pocket. Last month, the Trinity ones had, like, mad pockets everywhere. Um, this one has kind of your regular, like, hidden pocket here. I got it in a, I think I got it in a 1X. I did. So I got these in a 1X, aka a size 18. And I oftentimes also get them in an XXL, but I was a little worried about this one being see-through, um, just because of the color. It is a light color, and as you can tell, they are somewhat sheer, and then when I turn around, they're definitely sheer. You can see... What is that? They were in a bag. I don't know what that is. Um, you can definitely see my underwear and stuff. So this is one of those outfits where I was like, oh, I love it so much. I love the color. I know some people are like, you look naked. I'm like, oh, but I'm not. So you know what I mean? Um, and I love, love, love the bra. The bra is ridiculous. I love this one. So this is an Ella high support sports bra and it has like removable cups. It's high support, but it doesn't feel nearly as like restrictive as some of their other high support bras do. Um, and I don't know about you, but I just don't like feeling like sucked in on top. I don't need it personally for my chest size. Um, so I prefer not to have it. I'd rather be sucked in on the bottom. It's so comfortable, you guys. It's cute. It's comfortable. It's like, it's it's ridiculous. I wish I had more of these. Um, and this I got in a 1X as well. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably saw me post this outfit. I actually, uh, I was, where were we? I think we were in Texas and I had it on when uh, 
the kids were playing at the pool and it was so cute. Okay, I took a, um, what's it called? I took a boomerang of my legs because I wasn't gonna post it on Instagram, right? And I was like, oh no, I won't post it right now. So anyway, I take a boomerang and then like a few minutes later, I notice this big nasty spider on my leg and I flick it off. And then like a little bit later on, I was like, was that on the boomerang? <laughs> and I go to look and sure enough, you can see a spider crawling on my leg and I'm just like chilling, like it's not a big deal. It was a nasty little spider, but anyway, I had this outfit on. So this is probably how I would wear this because it does come down a little further in the front. The bra is cute and everything, but it's so comfortable. I would really wear it for the comfort factor, not just to show it off. Um, and I think I got the tank in a 1X as well. And like I said, it kind of covers up the panty line and stuff um, in these particular leggings. Even though this is a muscle tank, this is the Janus graphic muscle tank, um, it, because it's such like a relaxed fit, I don't feel super masculine in it the way I do in some other muscle tanks that have like this wide kind of, you know, I think I explained this last month, but um, this is really cute. Like as a whole set, this I'm into. This is the, is it Devor? Devor? Seamless Sports Bra. Too. And this is kind of like a lower impact bra. It's good for like yoga or just kind of like everyday wear. And this one only goes up to an XL, which Fabletics is um, pretty size inclusive. So they have straight sizes and they have plus sizes, but the seamless stuff goes up to a size XL. I don't find it to be uncomfortable typically, but I will show you an item that I don't think works for me very well. Um, but like I said, so I got this in an XL because that's the biggest size that they go up to for this kind of like style, the seamless style. And then the back is pretty low profile. Like there's not a whole lot going on back there. Ooh, it is getting hot in here. Oh my gosh. Okay. These are actually the same pair of leggings that I just showed you. These leggings are really comfortable. They fit really nicely. And these ones, since they're a darker color, you're not gonna get the same amount of like see-throughness basically back there. You can see that you definitely can't see my underwear like um, in the pink ones. Typically when I have a lighter pair of leggings, I wear a lighter color underwear. I have black underwear on right now because um, I wanted you guys to be able to see the difference. Um, but usually I kind of come to expect that the lighter the leggings are, the more likely you're gonna be able to see um, my panty line or my panties in general. And it's not a big deal to me. Like I said, a lot of times I add a tank top or a hoodie or a sweater or a jacket or something anyway. Um, but I just wanted you guys to be like fully aware because <laughs> I know some of you are very concerned. And like I said, they're the same as the other ones. So they have a little pocket here, nice high rise on them. These fit pretty well. So to pair with this outfit, I also threw on the, I believe the Aaliyah Tide Tank. And it is like a really relaxed fit kind of a tank top once again. And this one is um, kind of like a tunic naturally. You see how long it is? It's pretty long in the back. And the reason it has these slits is because you are meant to tie it. Obviously you don't have to, but if you tie it here kind of on the side, pick it up a little bit and then that's kind of it right there. It's cute, it's got like a, you know, a little something going on down here and then it does cover your butt a bit. It's up to you obviously how you want to tie it. I think theoretically you could also tie it the other way. It's really, like I said, up to you. But it is a really comfortable, super, super soft kind of like tank. This is what I like to throw on top of all of my outfits, especially when it's warm outside. It's hot in here, but it's not warm outside. This is in an XL, okay, this jacket here. And that's because it is a seamless jacket. And like I said, the seamless stuff goes up to an XL and then it just kind of quits. So um, I put this on while we were in Texas. I was actually gonna wear it with the other outfit. And I was like, I just don't think it looks good. I look dumb, I look dumb, it's too small. And then whoever was in there with me was like, no, you look fine, it looks good. And I was like, no, it doesn't. So stop lying to me. Um, but you guys don't lie to me. Okay. Okay, so this is the seamless jacket on my body, okay? These are the Trinity um, Power, oh crap, what are they called? The Trinity Pocket Leggings. Like I talked about these a lot last month. I didn't have this color. They have the mesh down the side. They are so cute. They're super comfortable. I love them. These ones again, look at me. See, I'm, I'm trying to be transparent about whether or not my pants are transparent. Um, so these ones, again, similar to that other one, this color in particular I find to be the most sheer option. Um, so like I showed you before, if that's something that you're really concerned about, then I would suggest picking a different color or going up one size. That pretty much always solves the problem for me, um, but like I said, for the most part, I really I really don't mind. Plus a lot of times I'm working out at home, so I'm not tripping. But these are a nice high rise. They are so cute. I love them. I love all the pockets on the side and I got these in a 1X. 
or an XXL, I forget. But this jacket, guys, just be honest. This jacket's too small for me, right? I mean, even open, I don't feel like I can play this off. Like, look how open it is. Like, your jacket, sh your jacket shouldn't be this open, right? So this is definitely um, a little small for me. I would probably just give it to my mom. Ah, but um, the sports bra, this is the Laney, I believe, Laney Medium Impact Sports Bra. This is the bomb. Like, again, unexpected because I like low, low, low impact stuff. This is not only a medium impact, but this is in a size XL, which is not my usual size. And um, does it look like it's too small? Because it actually feels really good. It feels really comfortable. feels better than some of the 1X bras do that are in, um, like, a higher impact. The black, the black. <laughs> The back is cute, it's adjustable, it's it's a great bra. I'm into it, I like the little design down here. Guys, anytime you see the bralettes, I, I don't know if they name them that, but they look like bralettes. Anytime you see them on Fabletics website, freaking get you one, okay? They are the best thing ever. I wear them literally every single day and I can't wait until there are some new ones out, baby. Oh. Okay, so this one, I have the wrong size on top and bottom. I'm actually not sure how I ended up with the wrong size on top or bottom, honestly. An XL um, with this, I think it's called the Cushel Performance Swing Tank. The cool part about it is that it does have the uh, bra built in and it is very comfortable. It feels like it has some good support. Then again, I'm wearing an XL right now, so it has like extra, extra support since it's a little snug on me. Um, but I wore one of these last month as well. I think it was white and like teal one. So comfortable, I really, really loved it. And in my size, it's a little bit longer. Um, but it's honestly, it's not like uncomfortable or anything either, even though it is an XL and I would typically wear an XXL or a 1X. Um, and then these are the classics. <laughs> these are the Mila pocket capris and they do have um, a pocket here on the side and then this is all mesh down the leg and even these ones I'm wearing them in an XL and as you can tell compared to the one X's um, in the lighter color like you really can't see my like panties that well um if you're like I said concerned about that getting a printed legging is like the way to go or just getting a dark color but for sure the prints are extremely disguising of any sort of like panty line little past any squat test even when the shoe size is too small um honestly though still really comfortable i'm gonna run out in this exact outfit right now uh because i gotta run but i hope that you guys enjoyed this video don't forget that you can sign up for fabletics and become a vip member and you can get two pairs of leggings for 24 dollars when you first sign up if you guys have any questions or anything about the way membership works, um, you can either refer to my last video, check out the website, or you can just ask me down in the comments and I will do my best to uh, respond and explain things simply. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know where I should put that vlog and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Oh, I have an exciting video coming. I know a lot of people are gonna wanna watch it. So I'm just, <laughs> I'm just letting you know, if you haven't subscribed yet, feel free.